Hello everyone, in this video we are going to compare for loop and apply and supply function with an example. I have this Excel file, let me show you, with multiple sheets. I have these sheets with ID value year. This is ID value year with different uh, data. And I want to import all these sheets with a loop. So first of all, let's load the package to import Excel file. Now, with the for loop, for i in this sequence from 2016 to 2020, I use the assign function to create an object that will have the same name to the sheet. And then I use the read underscore Excel function this is file name and I specify the which sheet and I do this again with the paste zero function where I paste year and letter and I that is one of these number in this sequence. Let's run. And as you can see I imported all the sheets. Let's check it. Now, let's say that we want to put all these sheets together in just one data frame. We use the rbind function. And this is the data set with all the sheets all together. Now, not something. With the for loop, we generate the i variable, the i object that stores the last uh, item in the sequence. For example, in this case, I 2020, because 2020 is the last number in this sequence. And now let's move to uh, the apply family function. Okay, let's uh, start with the apply. So, apply returns as an object a list. So we are storing basically all the sheets in a list. In this case, I'm going to use this Excel underscore sheets function. Let me show you what it does. Basically, it retrieves the, the names of the sheets. So this is basically our sequence. Read underscore Excel is the function that we want to use. Uh, note, note that we don't need to write the, the parentheses. Then, path is, uh, is one of the arguments of the read underscore Excel. So basically, we are passing this argument to this function. So let's run. And that's it. We have all the, all the sheets saved as data frame in a list object. Now, let me, uh, I delete this object and I want to do the same with the supply. Let me show you. Yeah. Uh, basically supply, return an object that can be a vector, a matrix, if simplify is true. In my case, I still want a list. So I write simplify equal force. But you may think, so why you want to do this? Because we already did with the apply. But with the supply here, we can use this argument, use.names equal true. So basically what I want to do is that in the previous function, all the data frames were saved at this index in the list. For example, let me enlarge. We have index number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. What I want is that instead of the index number, I want the, the, the name of the sheet. So for this reason, I'm going to use supply. So basically uh, the arguments are the same. We just add simplify equal false. Use dot name is the is default set on uh, true so we don't need to add 
let's run and now as you can see instead of the index number we have now the the name of the sheets so now let's say that we don't like to store uh, the data frame in a list so let's extract them to extract them i'm going to use again a for loop function so for i in excel sheet remember before we use the i and let me show you we use this i in 2006 2020 and then paste here and i in this case let's just use the uh, excel underscore sheets okay, and then again we use assign i and from tf we are just extracting i so the i sheets that's it we have extracted all of them now a bonus let me delete again everything here and what i want to do is that i want to append all the data set at the beginning here we did manually with the rbind function the issue is that it's fine when we have five data set but what about if we have 100 data set we don't want to do that manually so let's do with the loop again so again here i'm using the supply function to import now uh, i'm going to generate here uh, a data set this is the basically i'm initializing this object and it's very important that the column names are the same of the file that we are going to to append now that we have this uh, object what we are going to do basically is that we are r bind the f1 with assign i dfi basically this is the code that we have uh, we have seen before just to extract we are extracting the data set from the list and we are assigning to the i object that takes the name of the of the sheet so and then they are appending all together so let's run you can see here we have appended all the data set but now let's remove the the first row and when we remove the first row then uh, i'm going to uh, rename the the index starting again the x from one so let me show I remove for you again if the index starts from two and you like it let's reset the index from one and that's it so i hope this video is useful if you enjoyed this video see you in the next one